What's up guys, BTBS here, welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies 2. Yes, not too long after the last episode, I'm just hanging around. So, um, I upgraded my Igneous Extruder, and it can now make 64, 32, or 16 in a single go. That's pretty crazy. All I've got to do is take that out. Boom, 64 of them. <laughs> That's uh, really cool. I want to get like an infinite... Um, Storage barrel, like, uh, I assume deep storage units is still a thing. Ooh, that's a little more expensive. Wait, you can make resonant energy cell frames? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it just means that if you don't have the redstone, you can use the enderium first. That's really cool. Sweet. Um, yes, we got some machines and stuff to build, don't we? Doo -doo. Let me just check my crafting tables. Ah, yes, potion generator. So that's one I've been uh, meaning to build for a while. And the reward for that is a leadstone energy cell. And that unlocks the quest of building an 8x culinary generator. Really? Although the, the reward is an 8x potion generator. So maybe we should build that. Gonna need a lot of redstone. So, culinary requires, yeah, survivalist with pistons, redstone, stone. I should be able to do this. Uh, oh, that's the windmill, by the way. I'll just build that real quick. Uh, 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 I'm going to need eight of those. Hey, give me that. And then those there, pistons. There's the pistons. And what's the rest of this? I think it's just iron, isn't it? Oh no, not all of it's iron, good. That would be far too expensive. Damn it. I need iron. <laughs> it's like the only thing I need is iron. Because I did just do a stack of iron, but I turned it all into invar. So that's enough to make one. And then the culinary generators require an extra five iron after that, so we're going to need a lot of iron. So I'm just going to grab another one of these. I should probably check real quick. Uh, so you can cook them, you can straight up pulverize them to get two dust. That's interesting. Yeah, okay, there's no like high oven or anything to triple the output. Which is what I was wondering about, because, you know, it's not great, but it is triple the output. So, it's really something you should think about, just in case. Yay, iron. You know, I need to automate these. Build some hoppers and shit. But, once again, the thing I need right now is iron. Come on, there we go. So, I want to check out this potion generator, see how much it generates. I got this potion, the, the regen, let's stick it in there. 160 a tick for 40... Wow! That's actually really powerful. If I remember correctly, they generate a certain amount based on the potion they are, and then the strength is based on the strength of the potion. Like, if it's a, um, like a 2, you know, like a, a regen 2. And the length is based on the length of the potion, like if it's uh, an 8 minute or a 16 minute or whatever. Okay, we just need more... Uh... I don't know why I'm taking out of there, that chest is fucking full of cobble. More furni and more redstone. Probably got enough redstone. Do, do, do. Uh, uh. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, eight culinary generators and transfer node. I mean, this is going to be useful because I have been using a little bit of a... Oh, I already had one. Damn it, I could have just done seven of them. I have already been using a little bit of that for this. 
256 RF a tick for 10 seconds. Okay, I'm going to need to upgrade this cable. What comes after hardened? Um, what are they called again? They are called flux duct. Okay. Um, so it's leadstone hardened, and then it's redstone, and then resonant, and then cryo stabilized. What? So it's a redstone flux duct with hardened glass and electro around it. The redstone can move 8k, the flux, the resonant can move 32. This can move infinite. Um, okay. I'm actually surprised it's not the resonant flux duct you need to use for that. That would make more sense. But, okay then. Uh, looks like we need to upgrade to redstone. And we also need to upgrade these power supplies, because they are old and shitty. But we can stick uh, a little bit of stuff in there. Yeah, so this is... Uh, it's getting night time already, so it's only 65%. Yeah, so this generates less and less RF the lower the light level, the closer it is to night. Or morning, as well. Which is annoying. Does the po- Is there a potion generator or an ex- uh, an in I rem- Let me- Let me start that again. <clears throat> is there still a generator that runs off enchantment? No. There used to be some sort of magic generator. I can't remember if- it, What mod it was from, though. It was probably from, like, uh, Greg Tech or something like that. But it used to run off just straight up enchantments, so you'd feed it enchanted things, which was cool. That is a hell of a generator we've got there. Obviously, I still prefer this, because it's so much, you know, slower. I mean, it's so much more efficient, is what I mean to say. I do not need that culinary generator running this whole time. That is far too powerful. You know what? While we're here, um, I might as well make this is the iron rotor for this fluxed windmill. Hmm. Does it have a bottom? No? How does this work? This flux windmill. Oh yeah, potion generator. The AX potion generator. Because why not? You know, I actually have a few potions because the uh, witches drop them. So I've got a couple of potions we can try out in here. So we have a 45 second potion of poison, which is 640 RF a tick. Wow. And then we have a potion of healing. Which I don't think is the right potion because it doesn't work. In That's a weird looking potion. Huh. Okay then, I can just put, I can put another one of these in there. 640 RF a tick for 5 seconds. That is a very small like time frame. But it's cool. So anyway, while we're in here, um, wind power. While not incredibly powerful, it's easy to get. A turbine will only produce energy if above Y60, and it's max energy at Y100 plus. There are two parts: the turbine and the rotor. The turbine determines how much it can generate, while the rotor determines how efficient it is. Sneak and right-click the turbine to find out how much power it's outputting. Okay, and yeah, we're only at uh, Y57, so it actually can't generate power there. But, we could do something like this, and it technically could generate power there. I don't know how you put the... Oh, there we go. So, it looks like it turns. That's actually kind of cool. But... Um, to make it work, we would need, ideally we'd need 40 cable. Can't get up there anymore. 
Yeah, so yeah, it's really not worth me even using. Excuse me. I mean, maybe one of the higher tier ones that output more, because I believe these windmills can be made... Um, yeah, they can be made up to the resonant level. And the rotors can be made up to the resonant level as well, or enderium. So presumably they get amazingly efficient and fast to the point where they can produce, you know, 300 RF a tick when they're down at base level. Oh, another solar panel too. Sweet. I want to upgrade my, uh, my power storage straight to resonant because I can. All I need is some uh, some stuff. But I'm assuming there's going to be a quest for it at some point, so I don't want to just jump straight to it. Uh, that wants me to build another windmill. This wants me to build a 64 culinary generator. Seriously. A 64 culinary generator? No. Why not survivalist generator? Something that people would actually want because it's basically perfectly designed for maps like this. It's just all like, oh, so you're having problems with, you know, getting enough materials. Why don't you take this, which is super efficient? Um, what are these called? Cells. Yes. Right, yeah, I want to make resonant, um, which, so basically diamond, hardened, and electrum. Wow, these are actually going to be super easy to make. I've been pumping out hardened and stuff for a while. Um, electrum and a diamondium. I'm also going to need 40 redstone melted down. So right now, we have exactly zero redstone in our entire system. Let's put two stacks of dust and see how much redstone we get. Um, oh, I'm going to need a fluid transposer. I haven't actually built one of those yet. Fluid transposer. There it is. Transposer. Um, I should probably upgrade some of these machine frames. So the level 2 would be... An enderium. Uh, not enderium. An electrum gear. And... Uh, for invar... So yeah, uh, we need four Invar and an Electrum, and then we need four Hardened and Signalium and four Silver. And Enderium. I'll take that. And just check. Electrum goes in there. Do, 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 and there we go. <clears throat> Start pouring that again. Uh, so yeah, you can you can upgrade the uh, machine frame straight away instead of upgrading the machine once the machine is built. Um, what does second level take again? Signalium, that's the one. Sig and four. And there's the sig, and then we just need the. Nope, it's silver. I need. And I did put that into melt. Good. I'm uh, not forgetting everything, which is rare and scary. Is that going to jump to the bottom? It shouldn't because it's not a um, a mix. What do you call mix? What do you call a mix of two metals? Compound? No. Ah, fuck it, I can't think. Right, so that's that. Do, do, do. We can put these away. Put that back on. No, that one there. Do, do, do. Just keep draining this. It's almost done now. And we need a fluid transposer, which requires a bucket, two copper gears. Please tell me we have some copper gears in here. Nope. Ugh. Right, 
Right, we're going to need a bucket. The copper gears are making. We're also going to need two glass and a reception coil. Mm -hmm. Glass should be in here as well. Yeah, there we go. There we go, almost done. Just cook it up. Yay, wait. Almost made a bunch of iron, um, almost made an iron gear there. That would not be too good. Right. And the last copper gear. Now we can start pouring iron into those again. Do, do, do. There's the fluid transposer. Because, you know, you, if you're going to go, you might as well go hard. And what I want to do is move these to have the fluid transposer there, magma crucible there, and that there. And then I'm going to actually take the speed upgrades out of there and stick them into here. And then I'm going to tell this to output on this side to power that. And there is three, so 30. And we still need more. Stick another stack of sand in there. So that got us um, 35. Got about what we've got there, yeah. So we're going to need to melt down. I think we need 40. Let's just melt these down quick. That's 27. Do that and then grab another 3. And then also configure these machines to output that there, and you gain from there, and the rest of that. Yeah, should be good. And we must be getting close, yeah, 13. And you know what, let's just make an iron gear, because why the fuck not? <laughs> right, energy cells! So we need resonant and a diamondium. Uh, not resonant, sorry. Um, electrum, no diamondium. I put those in the wrong place, didn't I? No, holy shit. And simply because we can, let's upgrade it to an endurium one straight away. And uh, that's actually really cool. Can you still place these? You can. Super expensive decoration. Well, I mean, it would normally be super expensive, but I got uh, really lucky with my uh, pools. So that still takes a while to fill, and there we have it. Uh, oh no, we still need to uh, finish it off with some Electrum and stuff. I forgot you have to finalize them now. But the thing is, everything changes so quickly in so many different types. So I need three Electrum, lead, and a redstone thing. Um... Electrum and with my lead, there it is. Three electrum, I'm guessing, goes there with uh, that there, two lead there, that there. Yeah, resonant! Sweet. So now I can get rid of these, I can put my resonant here, I can have it output front, except from back, output side. And then uh, I can just very quickly put this here and tell it to output the back. That's already empty. And this... Huh. We're both already empty. I wonder why. Output to the back. Um, oh, wow. Well, yeah, you really cannot do much, can you? Well, I want to upgrade that to, res to uh, hardened anyway. Because if I'm ever going to use it, I will not use it in its current state. Especially when considering all I need to do is slap some metal around it. Metal which I have a lot of, FYI. Stick that there and tell you to... That's accept, that's output. Output down and tell you to accept up. Nope, except it's blue. There we go. 
Might as well just drain these power cells before I put them away forever and then ignore them for the rest of their life. You're not generating. Don't lie to me. Yeah, they can only output at 800. Oh, this can output at 32. That's been upgraded. Ooh. Does it, does it hold any more energy? Hang on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nah, no, still 50 million. I thought they might have upgraded it to 500 million. Because uh, it now outputs at 32k RF a tick. And inputs at that, which is fucking nice. I mean, these cables can't handle that. They can only handle 800. So I definitely need to actually make some new cables as well. But we have a new we have new power, which is good. Because that was what I was worried about for the longest time, was uh, my power amounts. So now I can just, I can store millions of RF during the day and then use it during the night or whatever I want to do. I actually think I might go quite heavy on those um, solar panels. Because they're fairly easy to make, and I could make a level 3, which will generate 128, or, you know, a level 4. I mean, it's probably better to just use four level 3s instead of a level 4. But then the level 5 is 1024, and the level... <laughs> Jesus Christ, 4K. But that does require these photovoltaic cells, which is a 3 and 2 blaze rods, which is a... Uh, and the three is a two with energized glowstone, and a two is a one and sixteen clay. So that would get fairly expensive, like fairly quick. It would get really fucking expensive. But I'm sure I can find something to do with my three eight generators. I have. I mean. I probably won't use the culinary or the potions, I'm probably just going to go like heavy on the solar and survivalist, like make seven more of these. And um, yeah, once I have seven more of those, it's probably going to be a while before I can do it, but you can upgrade them into a 64, which is exactly what an 8 is, but times 8, and uh, yeah, that costs a bedrockium ingot. And bedrockium ingot is going to take four triples and four quad compressed cobbles and a block of diamond or um oh christ oh you can make bedrockium liquid oh wow this has to be like amazing right 6000 durability yeah. Oh, wow. I wonder if it has the slowdown effect. Because uh, when you hold a bedrockium ingot, you get slowness 3. And, you know, if that gives you the slowness effect, then that would suck. But if it doesn't, then it seems a little powerful. Jump backwards. Yay. Make all the solar panels, and I think it's the gold redstone that I need for these. Like so, yep. So I need more gold, and I need more redstone. Hmm. Well, I can get rid of that. I'm not using it, and I can just put that like that. Oh no, get rid of that. There we go. That's better. So now we have four of these generating zero at night. So they literally generate nothing during the night. I was I assumed that it, the uh, the amount they generated would slowly tick down as it got closer to being night, and then once it hit midnight, they would generate maybe ten percent of what they normally would. So yeah, the light level starts at like sixty five percent, and now has to go up until it hits daytime. But if each of these are generating um, 24 RF a tick, so if each of these are generating 32, that's, uh, what, 128. This is kicking out 40. So basically just, I, I consider this to be passive. So just passively, we've got almost 200 RF a tick. 
which is pretty nice, and uh, it's going to take a very long time for this to fill up or even get noticeably high. Oh, we need more mirrors. Mirrors is uh, silver and glass. Yeah, we need more glass. Let's just uh, do that. I love being able to stack charges in there. I think that's so good. Because you don't have to fuck around. You don't have to be like, oh, I suppose if I, uh, I can get it to be really, really fast. It's just like, nope, I'm just going to get it to be literally instant. Mirrors. Put those away. Put the mirrors in there. Three and one. yeah, three was all we needed. And there's another solar panel for us. Um, I wonder if they connect via. Nope, that is storing charge. But you can do that. I don't like it, but I can do it for now. I mean. I could totally just do this and then get rid of that and then set this to just sneakily accept from above. No, orange is output, blue is accept. God damn it. Yeah, set that to accept from above. And then it will accept from above. So, I mean, I like having my, uh, my things like that. In fact, if I do this... And then I can do this and put that one on there. And these even have connected textures. That is so nice. Oh, that's so nice. Yes. I'm okay. I'm good with this. I'm happy with this. And we have an extra piece of uh, thing so we can expand it later. I'm liking this, though. I like the uh, the passive power gen from those. those are, that's good. And I'll put that away. Is there any use for these? Nope. There is no use for those at all. <clears throat> so I suppose uh, we're, we're kind of good for power for now. So we should look into something else. Like uh, assembly line. Uh, I don't really want to go making everything in there. Mystical blood. But I mean, we could go and actually try and finish Batania. Or, you know, because we, we barely started it. We basically started Batania so we could make potions. So that requires an elven mana spreader, which I assume requires the same stuff as before, the dreamwood. I'm just going to assume the dreamwood comes from the same place it always does. And be like, damn. Um, get rid of these. Put away that. You know what? I want this to... Uh, Generate, so I'm just going to stick that toast sandwiches in there. Get some good power generation running. There's a pigeon staring at me. Yeah, I see you, pigeon. Why would a why? Why is there a pigeon staring at me? Rune of water, rune of fire. Let's make those. Rune of uh, water requires three mana steel, bone meal, sugar cane, fishing rod. Damn. Okay, I need a couple of mana spreaders for this. Um, I mean, I've got a redstone one, which is good enough. And even though it looks like it's uh, aimed right. There. Um, can I put together another mana spreader? Need more living wood. Where is my wood? There is my wood. Uh, uh, where is my stone? Mm -hmm. There is my stone. This, remember this? I can just go bonk, bonk. Yeah. Sweet. So, um, I actually don't know what version of Batania I'm using, but I think I might be using the version where plants can decay. So these, like, you know, day blooms and pure daisies, after a certain amount of time, they will just start to die. Probably something in the lore about it being because they're not on their like home world or something. I don't even know. 
But uh, if we are using that version, that's going to suck. Because from what I've heard, you can't turn it off at all. So, I assume we're not using that version, simply because, you know, this is a skyblock world, and making stuff decay like that would actually suck. Right, so, uh, three mana steel, fishing rod, sugar cane, bone mill. Um, to make sugar cane, I'm going to need to plant my sugar cane seeds. Where did I leave them? There they are. Because I've been ignoring agrocraft this entire time. So I'm actually going to have to do a little bit of it now. But I believe you can do it nice and simply. Like this. And I believe agrocraft can be bone milled. There we go. Now, um, the whole point of agrocraft is you're supposed to breed plants. Um, see if I can get a thing. No. Can we look at that? And uses. No, that's only crafting uses. Right. The whole point of agrocraft is you're supposed to crossbreed plants to produce better strains of them. And if we were to take these seeds, oh, we haven't we haven't actually started identifying yet. That's right, of course. There's that. I believe one of them was bone meal. And one of them was uh, tree mana steel. So what we're going to do is we're going to split that and take a stack over here to be used for mana steel per paces. And we're going to chuck quarter stack in there for now. One, two, three, and then we need a fishing rod. Like that, and that, and that. I'm pretty sure the fishing rod has to be full durability. And then once we get to that stage, I think that's everything. Um... Yeah, um, how do we make it go? Oh, I know. And then that little picture of a rune next to my uh, thing. Is it? Oh, you know what? I think the, um, the redstone mana spreader I was using actually doesn't spread normal mana. I think it spreads a special just kind of like redstone pulse mana. I don't think I've ever used it, so I'm not 100% sure, but that would be my guess. Uh, I need some gold. I'm a coming. Gold. Seriously? Yushnerius. Right, looks like gold is the next thing that goes in there. This is what happens, right? Because I refuse to do it all at once, I go in there and I find the one thing I'm short on, and then that is the next thing that I uh, just chuck like a stack of blo a stack of ore in there. And then I'm fine for the, on that for quite a while, and then another thing comes up, and I, the cycle just repeats itself. Right, so that's working. There we go. I would like to make a second mana spreader just to speed it up anyway. So yeah, once it reaches maximum, what you need to do is drop a piece of uh, living rock on top of that and then smack it again with your wand. And that should be everything. I, I really like this crafting order. It's one of the uh, really cool looking like crafting components. And there is our three runes of water. Lilium Dull. That. Uh, Runes of Fire is going to require Nether Brick, Gunpowder, and Nether Warp. Fucking really? Um. Oh man, uh, I know I can make it like this. I don't particularly like making it like this. There we go. And yeah, because it requires 
redstone and lava. Also, nether wart. I mean, I probably have some, but fuck knows where. Nether wart. I've got loads of gunpowder because I get that from this. Um, I actually don't think I have any. Can you still get it from sifting? You can. 5% chance. Okay, right. I thought you might have to uh, crossbreed it. But no. Cool. Well, I don't have any, so I'm going to need to get some of that. And I don't really want to go sifting on episode. Oh, it's actually past time to uh, wrap up. So... That works out quite nicely. I will get some um, some nether wart uh, between episodes, and we will craft this when we come back. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna actually try and go through some Batania and get a whole bunch of stuff done in there because I really want the Batania armor as well. And um, you know, maybe we'll move on to Thorncraft or Blood Magic after that because we're pretty much gonna be able to beat Batania like soon. So we'll see. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.